I am watching this video. Let's see. How far fucking back? Just watch. The Optimal Finance interview, and now I'll offer some of my thoughts. What does it mean for first party exclusives for something like an Elder Scroll? Will we only see that on Microsoft systems, or will it go across other systems similar to what Microsoft has done with Minecraft? Do you understand the question? He just asked. He put way too much wordage on it. But basically, he's poking it. Is Bethesda Games only going to be Xbox exclusives? You listen to the inane ramblings that now follow from the, the fucking mouthpiece of Sauron. Yeah, really excited about the announcement this week that we intend to acquire ZeniMax. Uh, amazing studios there takes our overall first party or studio organization to 23 creative studios um, just a real big investment in content he didn't ask shit about your studios is the flywheel that we're feeding there uh, we have over 15 million subscribers now for game pass uh, and it, it continues to grow across console pc and he didn't ask about your fucking game pass dickhead and now with streaming to phones and we want to make sure that subscribers to Game Pass feel like they have a consistent set of games to go play. Um, in terms of where games will show up, our commitment is that our games will show up in Game Pass and on PC and on console and be available in xCloud. In terms of other platforms, I think we'll take it on a case-by-case -case basis. How, how much fucking time did he waste spewing off at the fucking mouth? What, a whole minute by now? Seriously. Is this what you think running a company is about? Fucking running off at the mouth? Being a goddamn fucking mouthpiece? Is this how you approach public relations? Is this how you approach every fucking thing? Bureaucratically and politically? The answer is yes to save everyone time and thought process. You don't need to think about it. It's a fucking headache. I hate it. I understand it. I know it. I fucking hate it. Bureaucrats and politicians and morons and fucking rambling off at the mouth saying nothing. But he did give an answer. A vague hint of a possibility of an answer, actually. Not an answer. He hinted that it's more likely, at 50.001%, just 0.001% more likely, that they'll be exclusive. His exact wording was to take it on a case-by-case -case basis. Hint, hint, they're considering it being exclusive. Which means that instead of a 50-50 split, you now have a definitive 0.001% in favor of exclusivity. Which, in the sense of... In the sense of the, the monetary physical policy and the way these jackasses think and how I know them so well, they're going to start out with exclusivity 100%. And then if they get backlash in such mass quantities as, you know, everyone on the internet being a bitch about it, then they'll pull back and say, ooh, bad, ooh, we made mistake, here, you can have your non-exclusive bullshit. Go fuck yourselves now. Not in the exact same words, but that's exactly what they'll be thinking. Now this, this fake, phony baloney console war. Let me address this issue. You're all fucking morons!